Hello, Art Nerds. Welcome to another video. Now, now I do a lot of commission, bespoke commissions for people. They're their pets, their their kids, their family members. I don't normally film them because they are very modernist. They only mean one thing to a few people and they're very much about themselves. I very, very rarely get a commission which I see as postmodern about the outside world, about culture, about loves of a community of people. This commission is for a couple's son and they wanted it to be about the things he loves, the things that define him, the things that he adores. Um, which is, to me, the perfect painting. When I was discussing it with Neil and Helen, the parents of the person whose painting is for, we were discussing his loves, um, the things he adored, and it turns out the things he loves are the same things I love, which is great, you know, movies, television, comic books, uh, superheroes, board games, computer games, um, and we wanted to mash these all up. Obviously, you can't chuck in everything you like because it'll just blow up your head. We narrowed it down to two things that this whole painting would be based around and then we put in more, and that is Magic the Gathering and Star Wars. So I'll talk more about this painting as it happens, but this painting you're about to see is a bespoke commission and I've called it Darth the Gathering, Magic the Darth, Magic the Vader, Magic the, I don't know what I've called it, I haven't got a title for it to be honest. So um, this is what happened. Uh, enjoy, it's a good fun one. Bye. And here we are, here's the canvas. It is 40 inches by 40 inches. Wow, my mind went blank. Um, I've done the rough doodling here with pencil and then I'm going in and actually getting the definition correct with the paint. And as you can see, here is Mr. Darth Vader with his hand reaching out. What's coming out of his hand? He's not choking the viewer. He is either throwing, levitating, picking. He's doing something with these Magic the Gathering cards, but whatever he's doing, he's kind of making them look like he's you know, won the game or just stealing your cards like a bully in the uh, playground. <laughs> um, as you can see there, a little spoiler to the twist on these. So we've mashed up the Magic the Gathering with Star Wars, but also also, the Magic the Gathering cards are changed a bit, and you can see that bottom one there has a, a blue A, which looks very similar to the Avengers logo. <laughs> um, each card uh, has got a different um, property mashed up into it. So you can see on that top card there, we've got Magic the Gathering with um, a Wonder Woman W. The bottom one there is Avengers. The second one there is Game of Thrones, which is uh, the uh, Starks. Oh, we've got two Starks. Ooh, another mashup, which I didn't realize I'd done. <laughs> um Buffy logo, and there is the Deathly Hallows from Harry Potter. Uh, talk about painting Darth Vader. Darth Vader is pretty easy to paint. I mean, he's hard because he's robotic and uh, mechanical, but he's easy because there's not um, too much of a uh, face to get. There's no personality there. He is so synonymous and epic that you don't need to add any more to Darth. He's a lot of dark, a lot of grey, um, because he's black. When he's black, you can do two, three things, actually, with I find with black, especially with Darth Vader's. You can do the highlights with grey, the highlights with blue, or you can do a little bit of purple. Uh, this one I went for grey because I wanted it to contrast and have the cards popping out, the cards are in their full colour, roughly. Um, and I'll add a little bit of red here and there later on. Um, what else can I say about it? So he's all in acrylic paint. Uh, I think there's a bit of... Um, is there any spray paint? No, there's no spray paint. It's all acrylic paint. Um, all, uh, I think it's Pebio for you uh, paint nerds. <laughs> and I think some Liquitex in there. Uh, so let's go on to the Magic the Gathering cards. I toned, I didn't put it in the video, but I did some of the cards in a, a tone that was much closer to the actual color of the real cards. But it didn't quite work for some reason. I think because Darth Vader is muted, um, I was painting the cards more closer to what they are in real life color and it wasn't muted enough So I took the you can just about see there above the a I've got lots of different colors there um, Oh, I've just done the red of the eyes as well. So I again tone that down in a minute So everything gets toned back down. I've painted it by realized that it needs to be It was looking like it was stuck on like a collage opposed to part of the same painting and um, when you are doing mashups you got to con you got to think about the light you've got to think about the perspective and the um the composition, which brings me nicely onto this. So one of the big ideas I had in this painting, or we had in this painting, we discussed was to make it 3D. Um, I've been doing a lot of comic book art recently, so I've added some tape to put them into this like little comic book panel. And then if you see right at the bottom, the cards are coming out of the panel. So it's kind of forcing the perspective um, to make it look like the cards are coming out at the viewer, which makes more sense when you see the painting all together. Uh, now we're painting the background of the Magic the Gathering cards, and you can see the logo, and you can see Buffy, and you can see the Starks, and you can see the Avengers, and the Wonder Woman one, they're all in there perfectly. Um, what can I talk about now? Where are we now? So oh, I'm just adding highlights. So here is where I'm making sure this matches the light, where the light's coming through 
from for uh, onto Darth. So it's coming through on his front. So that's where it should be um, on the cards and the shadow from each card over each card. Um, here, when I did the Magic the Gathering or the Magic logo, at first I painted it very exact like it was, you know, very graphic-y uh, as, as if the cards were stuck on there. Soon I realized that you had to make it more painty. It had to be a bit inaccurate, had to be a bit, not slapdash, but less perfect because if it was perfect, it didn't work properly. It's like if I had painted every piece of Darth Vader's metal perfectly right angled with the screws and what have you screws probably doesn't have screws does he rivets i reckon <laughs> um putting in the buffy logo okay so I've, on these ones here i've been using a lot of posca paints uh, posca paint pens uh, to get them more accurate you can just be a bit more accurate i can be more accurate with a paint pen than i can be with um a paintbrush anyway so where are we now uh toning everything down blacking everything out and now we are going on to what we do now oh highlighting so here the magic the gallery again um on the logo, it's kind of got this two-tone, like, I don't know, it's like, it looks like it's Gaetian blur blurring a bit. Um, so I put a bit of highlighting onto the um, magic, the word. Um, and you can see now the colours are balancing really well. And it actually looks like it's part of the same painting. The shadow from the cards onto Darth, the light um, source is the same on the cards. Uh, painting in the little jewels um, and some, I think, I'm, yeah, now we're writing the gathering underneath. Again, made sure that wasn't too perfect because it would have looked a bit ridiculous. It was all perfect um, when you got a distance. Uh, here we go. Adding dots and yeah, bits of highlight and taking off the tape. And look, here he's done. Now you can see. Hey, come on, why isn't it? So as you can see, the um, cards are popping out of that comic book square, like you have in a comic book. Um, so... In theory, this was forced in the perspective, and I think it worked really, really well. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. It was um, a really great, fun commission to work on, and I hope you guys like it as well. We've mashed up two main properties, and then we chucked in a few little ones there. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, yeah, see you soon, everybody. Bye-bye, 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 bye. -bye, bye, -bye, bye, -bye, bye, -bye.